Well, it's been a difficult week. I have had some progress. I haven't done nothing. And I can show you how the room looks right now. First of all, we had some very difficult family dynamics issues going on that were mentally and emotionally exhausting. And then yesterday, when I thought things were getting a little better, I found out that a dear friend of mine had passed away. She was a drug addict and a liar, and she stole from me. But despite those things, I really loved her, and I feel like I'm responsible in some way. because I should have tried to reach out to her more. I did some, but mostly I was scared, scared to have her be a part of my life. But I shouldn't have let fear overshadow my love for her. And now it's too late. And so I'm going through a grieving process. And it's been overwhelming the number of issues that have cropped up this week. Aside from that, in Minnesota, spring is generally a wonderful time for everyone. This winter has been especially long and the weather's gotten nicer and the snow is melting. But for me, I have this space in my yard where the dogs have to go do their business. You can imagine, over the several months of winter that we have here, the layers of snow and poop accumulate to an astronomical level. And in the spring, when all of the snow melts, it's poop soup. And I have spent the last three days out there getting that cleaned up, which is done now. And so I had intentions of having a different type of video. I had said that I had a tool for helping me with my finger picking that I was doing. And I had a plan for a discussion about habits and habit formation and why that interests me and the things I found on YouTube to help with that. And I still intend to do that video. Right now, all I can really focus on are the physical aspects of working on this room because my heart is a little too heavy to worry about my fingers. So here is the progress of the room so far. This is the art area, which is still quite a mess. I just have everything piled up over there. I temporarily have the books off of the shelf because I have some work to do over there where the bookshelf is. My intention is to buy another bookshelf and put it along the wall up here just like I did on the other side, and all the art supplies will go in there. So this mess should go away then, um, and I'm going to get rid of this piece of furniture. So that'll be one last piece of furniture and more floor space. And then I moved my desk here. I've been doing my makeup in the bathroom, and my family's getting annoyed with me. So I thought it'd be nice to have my makeup set up up here and do that here and it made more sense to have the couch down here and have this be a sitting area and moving that made more space for this table and chairs around it for us to play games. So we did finish getting the sheetrock off of the ceiling and if you saw in that previous video when I was taking down the other section um, in between these boards here they had uh, insulation which 
was really stupid because they had it right against the ceiling and then they had the sheetrock over the top of that and it was creating condensation which caused me to get a little bit some spots where there's a little bit of mold. Tim is taking these down like two or three a day just because it's a kind of a big exhausting job and hurts your neck and I picked colors for the room too so that's going to be exciting when I get to the point where I can paint in here. Oh, and I replaced the big chair that I used to have with this little chair here, so it gives me a little more space too. That one was just a way too oversized for the room. So today, it's my day off and it's a Friday. Everybody's at school and I typically try to get the most work done when I have days off. And My plan today then is to do that scraping of the ceiling and spraying the spots that have a little bit of mold and I'm not going to record myself doing that because uh, frankly, that would be incredibly boring for you, I'm sure. <laughs> I know I really don't have much for subscribers, and so I'm not really apologizing to that many people, but, um, sorry this post was a little bit of a downer, and hopefully things will be looking up next week.